Um, so what do we see here? Um, let me just read through and then see what, what am I, uh, if there's anything special here. Um, it does, okay, so Q, this is not written, Q does max health damage. So I think one of the problems with this character, the C is like very, lack of CC is very apparent here, but she has like very good mobility to compensate for it. But uh, yeah, Q has max percent health. We all know how that broken, uh, how broken that is. Um, even the second part of Q also has max health damage. It seems like Q has like a 50% damage reduction that are not about champions, right? Oh, no, no, no. You can see right here. So the Q, you have to hit the edge of the shike. If you don't, they take less damage. So this is like Darius Q. So there's some skill expression in Q. Uh, and both parts of Q work like that, it, it seems like. Uh, w, shield for 1.5 seconds, which is like, okay, time for shield. This is like Yon, I think. Kind of like Yon W. Uh, braces herself for 0 0.5 seconds. Uh... Oh, so the W uh, gets increased shield if a red buff or blue buff hits you or if a tower hits you. What the fuck? So she gets a bigger shield if the tower shot hits her. So she's better at uh, tanking tower shots. Uh, that's also... I didn't know that. Okay, let's read E. Um, e has a slow of 99% which decays over one second. This means that E into ult is going to be the combo because it's 99% slow. Okay. Uh, this... Um, okay. Okay, um, and then ult. Wait, wait, wait. Ultimate Ambassa gains 30% armor penetration. And her abilities heal her for 15% of the damage she dealt. I mean, Panton, hey Panton, can, uh, can I steal your passive but make it cooler? It's like, like, what? Okay, okay, I was thinking, number one, she has she has good wave care, good mobility. Damage seems to be fine in the champion, but but like I was like kind of curious does she have percent damage? Where is the sustain? Because like if this champ has no sustain, you could just poke her out, and then she be, kind of becomes weak, right? And also lack of CC seems to kind of be the problems of the character so far. But I mean, when I read this ultimate pass, you're sure you don't get the sustain till level six. But like, I mean, so the armor penetration. Inbuilt into the kit, I would like first of all. I also I was assuming that she would be a good black cleaver user because a haste on her makes a lot of sense because her abilities need to be spammed because her passive needs to be procced as much as possible. So I was thinking that cleaver does seem to be like a very good item on her just by default, but cleaver plus this 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 like I feel like the champion will just build very similar to Pantheon like it has to be similar to Pantheon. Um, yeah, she heals off her abilities. But here's my problem. Here's the thing that I don't know. Does, does it heal you if you hit a minion or does it only heal you if you hit a champion? Because there's a big difference there, right? Because if it heals you if you hit a minion, there's a lot of sustain here. Uh, this is a level 3 ultimate, that is true. So at, uh, at rank uh, 1 of ultimate, it's going to be only 10% armor pen. Uh, which, uh, let me see, Panton ultimate is... 25% effective versus minions, okay. Pantheon ulti ultimate is how much armor band? A Pantheon ultimate is also 10 to 30, so it's the same. Uh, I didn't read these lines uh, yet. Abessa becomes unstoppable, so unstoppable ultimate, which makes sense. It obviously feels super bad when your ultimate gets cancelled. This makes totally, uh, like, a lot of sense. This is why Yon has unstoppable, Malphite is unstoppable. A lot of champions have unstoppable ults, even Briar, I think. So, like, th this makes a lot of sense why it's unstoppable. This has to be in the kit, as the ultimate will get cancelled by certain abilities and the character will feel way too bad to play. Um, Blinks to the farthest champion, surpassing the target, uh, surpassing the target for 0 0.75 seconds. Stabbing them into the ground, dealing physical damage, 100% bonus physical damage. So, okay, um, okay, so ultimate, yeah, and then healing is 25% uh, effective against minions and 40% effective against monsters. So, okay, it does feel like to me the kit is good enough to be a jungler, like honestly. I, I de definitely see this champion being able to be a jungler as well as a laner. And then the last thing that I w do want to say is that, okay, I didn't read passive actually. Passive gives you a uh, charge for 4 seconds, I think Salas is probably around there as well. She gains 100 attack range, which is insane. 100 attack range, 
Zero chance she's a jungler? I don't see why not. What? If she can go over walls with W and E, this, this champion is 100% a jungler. If she has good enough clear. Um, 50% attacks with 100 range. I mean... Uh, I don't know what her base range is. But if her base range is 200, I assume it's probably 150. But if her base range is 200, she's going to outspace, outspace, outspace every single top laner in the game almost. Also, the passive restores 70 energy. Let me actually read 70 energy, 70 energy, no cost ultimate and 70 energy. So, okay, this means that you can do basically three spells and then your oom. So this passive incentivizes you to constantly auto. If you don't auto, you run out of energy really fast. So it does seem like this champion would probably be pretty bad in losing matchups. Like if you're getting pushed in and you can't auto attack minions or stuff. It does feel like she kind of does struggle that way. But, you know, um, it's a passive is 70 energy and you get one passive stack for every ability. This basically means that as long as you can auto attack, you will never run out of energy. You have permanent spells forever. Um, and I would say... And you can auto-attack probably anything and it gives you energy, right? Like anything, like you can auto-attack a ward or a minion or anything. Also, um, every single ability of hers does physical damage. There's no magic damage to the kit. This is why armor pin is really good on her. And this is why the passive, I guess, on the R is like that. And this is why she's probably a cleaver champion. She buys cleaver, she has this passive and all of a sudden like armor is not no longer that effective in, into her. Um, I mean, it's cool. I think it's a cool champ. Do I think it's too broken? It's hard to say, but I definitely think it could be really strong. It could be scary. I don't think people should be overreacting. Like, at least I would say passive is kind of crazy, but I think the rest of abilities are kind of in line uh, with, like, nothing too crazy. But the passive is absolutely nuts. Like, the, the passive is... I think this passive is crazy. The, the amount of dashes... Like, certain champions will just not be able to play into this. Like, you will you will play against, like, for example, Darius, and she will always dash into you, so your Q will never be able to hit her. Or, I don't know, you're going to be playing against some skillshot champ, like, I don't know, maybe, like, Syndra, and she will, you will just always be able to jump spells of her. I, I don't know. It, it depends how smooth the champion is, like, how fast she can dash and jump when she casts an ability. That also matters a lot, but passive is just crazy. Well, I mean, okay. I guess we'll see. Also, the stun is only 0 0.4 seconds, so it doesn't seem like the ultimate has a lot of utility. I mean, to be honest, no, to be honest, it's a suppression for 0 0.75, then it's a stun for 0 0.4. So that's like 1.1 second of CC on a champion. It's not bad. It's like, okay. All right, that, that's kind of it. That, those are my thoughts. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Looks to, looks to be fine. Also, the, the kit seems to be a jungler top to me. Jungler top, or maybe in some specific matchup mid. It doesn't seem to be a support at all. It doesn't seem to be a ADC at all. Maybe with like Senna, lol. Doubt it though. Also, I don't really understand why people are comparing uh, the new champion to Cassanta. I, I don't see it. I don't think the new champion is anything like Cassanta. Uh, the kit is not similar at all. I think the kit would probably be more similar to a Riven, maybe, than a Cassante, like, honestly. But I don't think it's similar to Riven either.